Hi guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. <laughs> it's great seeing you again. I didn't know it was gonna be like that, but you know, here I am, and it's nice. That's good. Yeah. I have Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, how are you? I don't see you. Let me see yeah. you, please. Oh my gosh, this always gets. But Hi. Hey, how are you? Fine, and you? Doing great. Welcome. Fatima, how's everything? Hello. Doing great, I Doing think. Great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, would you mind turning your camera on so I can see your um, face? Who's here? Karen Garcia. Roberto, I know. Fatima, what's your last name, Fatima? Sorry, I, I can hear you. Sorry, what's your last name? Sanchez. Fatima. Okay. And then I have someone else here. One more person. Usuario Uno, it says. What's your name? So the person who's muted. Okay, I'll see later. Um, before we start, do you have any questions, guys? You know I do. You do? Yeah. Ah, questions about the platform. All right, we're gonna get there in a little bit, okay? Karen, Fatima, questions about the course? No, no right, right, right now, I don't have any. Great, so my name is Jocelyn Navas, in case you didn't know me, all right? Very nice to meet you. I hope that you get to learn a lot, that you also have fun and um yeah that's basically it all right it's a pleasure meeting you and we're gonna begin now are you ready subscribe to yes, my channel, we're ready. <laughs> subscribe yeah. to the channel. <laughs> okay awesome so um this is what we're gonna do okay we're going to work on the platform together so everybody uh Karen, fatima do you have access to the platform yes all right, let's access the platform right now because we're going to start from uh, section one, okay? What we're going to do basically is work on the platform, all right, and also practice speaking using the topic that is given here because that's something you cannot do on your own. The platform you can kind of do on your own, but not the speaking part, so um, I'm concerned about that. But also the completion of it is pretty important. Because if you don't complete the platform, you cannot go to the other level, you cannot enroll again. So that's a very important thing, as you may know. Okay, so everybody, let's go to section one. Okay, and here we have the objective. Would you read it, please? Hold on, let me load it. Is my internet slow? Okay, the topic anyway is passive voice. If you were able to take a look at it. Okay, no objective so far. Let's watch the video, okay? Welcome to another module. This time we'll study passive with by. But before you can see. Before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use, as well as the structure of passive voice. Okay, so why do we use passive voice, guys? 
What are the three reasons? And we don't know who did the action. Yes. What else? When the action is more important and when we don't know who did it, right? That's good, that works. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scramble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Architect designed the Okay, let's read the examples quickly. Um, Misael, uh, read the example, please, the first one. I don't think you can hear us. You know, welcome. Building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scramble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. How would you put this sentence in the passive voice? My sister wrote this book in 2010. My sister, the one, I'm sorry? This book. My sister. This book was wrote. Wrote, was wrote by my sister by my in sister. 2010. Oh, you almost got it. All right, take a look. Uh, Katia, welcome. Noe, nice seeing you again. It's a pleasure. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and I don't see the name of some of you, but um, yeah, I think I have, yeah, Misael, Fatima, and someone else. I need the names later, okay? Pay attention, guys. I'm going to give you an example. That's why I'm not sharing the video anymore. Um, so here's the thing. Let me see. Hold on. Well, I'm going to say water, all right? I put water on this coat, you know, <laughs> but you have the subject, okay? <laughs> I'm the subject, and here's the object, all right? Karen, right? Look at Karen, she's yes. doing that. <laughs> so the sentence goes like this. Hold on, take a look. Okay, the sentence goes like this. Uh, Josie, all right, teacher Josie, we're gonna say, I'm gonna change my so teacher. So, so what did I do? Look. Look, what, what am I doing? Drinking. Drinking. Drinking water. Let's say it in the past, though. I need it in the past. Drink. Uh-huh, teacher. Drink. 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 We don't know water. what's in that bottle. You're going to say drink water. Okay. Now, okay, That this is active voice because the subject goes first and the object goes next but now what i have to do is i need to change the order so i'm gonna say this first this is gonna go first so we're gonna say water okay we're gonna start the sentence with water all right that's the most important thing water was drank water yeah the verb be was and then you need past participle drink drunk okay drunk drunk by drunk my teacher. The teacher. By teacher Josie, okay? Very good. So the object is more and important. It's past participle. It is past participle. And you really need this auxiliary verb. So, you know, okay, look. How, how does this make sense? Because this is in the past, okay? My sentence is in the past. My auxiliary has to be in the past, okay? One more example. All right, another example. 
So again, I'm gonna be, uh, Roberto, do you have your phone? What are you using, your phone or the laptop? My phone. Karen, you're using the laptop, right? Yes. Do you have your phone on you? No. We're gonna do the example with me then. Okay, so again, teacher Josie, say the, the, make a sentence in the past. What did I do? Type in. 